Chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML, was once considered a death sentence, but new treatment options have turned CML into a chronic yet manageable disease for most patients. Health Canada has recently approved Tasigna for patients in the chronic or initial stage of the disease who are resistant or intolerant to prior treatment options. Dr. Jeffrey Lipton is a Canadian medical oncologist. Prior to the use of Gleevec, which started about 10 years ago, patients with chronic myeloid leukemia could have a bone marrow transplant. For those individuals before Gleevec, the average survival was around five years. With the use of Gleevec and the majority of people responding well, the average survival has gone up to an estimated 30 or maybe even 40 years. 15% of patients are resistant to Gleevec. About another 15% have major intolerance to Gleevec and perhaps another 20 to 30% may have a lower grade intolerance which affects their quality of life. The approval of Tasigna is an advance in the treatment of CML because it allows physicians another option for treating individuals who are intolerant of Gleevec or who don't get a response to Gleevec or in fact lose a response that they had to Gleevec. Lisa Machado was diagnosed with CML two years ago and is grateful that another treatment option to address her cancer has been approved in Canada. Knowing that there are alternatives out there like to Cigna should Gleevec stop working for me gives me and thousands of other Canadians with CML hope and the ability to look towards the future with a little bit of certainty. But uh, accessibility is key no one with a life-threatening disease wants to be told that they can't get the medication that could save their life. Chronic myeloid leukemia is caused by an abnormal chromosome called the Philadelphia chromosome. It produces an abnormal cancer protein called BCR-ABL, which blocks the normal signal that tells the body to stop producing white blood cells. As a result, CML patients have a significantly elevated cancerous white blood cell count. Without treatment, CML typically progresses over three to five years from the initial phase through a transition period to a rapidly fatal form. Cheryl Ann Simino is the president and CEO of the CML Society of Canada. The goals of the CML Society of Canada are to provide navigational tools, education and emotional support to patients in Canada suffering with CML. But additionally, our, our role is to make sure that the patient's voice is heard particularly with regards to access to drugs. We are very excited about the approval of Tasigna because this will offer us additional choices and treatment options. And for some patients, this may make the difference between being able to achieve the goals with treatment and stop their disease from going into the more critical phase. For more information about chronic myeloid leukemia and treatment options, speak with your doctor or visit www.cmlsociety.org.